Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. Division one men, 18 rounds done and dusted. We are headed to finals. It's a top eight, and you've only got to think about the way the AFL final series works. That's what we're dealing with here. Steve-O, start taking us through the so results. So that means, unfortunately, in 16th position, doesn't make the uh, final. Have they right? missed out, Campbell? Just. I think yeah. we just missed out. Just only by a couple of games. Of our game on Saturday. Head to head, maybe. maybe, as well. I'll tell you what I've been impressed with, though with Campbell. They're two and 20, they finish on the bottom, they're headed to division two, mm -hmm. right? Yep. One thing I've been impressed with, come, rail, uh, came, uh, come rain, hail or shine, doesn't matter who's in, who's out, how many were injured, how crap they were, how bad things were going, <laughs> this guy to my left, Tipped Campbell 22 out of 22 times. Always this had a smile on his face, always positive. Tipped 22 Campbell well, times. Went out in the court, did his business, even Maybe he might have missed Mate, a couple of games Campbell, here and there, but... Campbell could be headed to the Olympics next week and taking on the USA, right? Jeffers would still be tipping. He'd be tipping Campbell, Campbell well, Mate, no mistake. I'd back us in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take us through the results. Here we go. <laughs> Warrnambool, 105, defeated Sunbury, 66 at the Arc. Packed crowd there, too, for... Oh, is this? Oh, that, is this? Uh, muscular uh, muscular dystrophy, dystrophy yeah dystrophy. raising some yeah, that's right well and uh, between Warrnambool Sunbury and also the had referees the the got all together yeah. three dollar uh, green shoelaces raised over seven thousand dollars so well done to everyone out at Warrnambool guns absolute guns congratulations now Sobey had 31 points and nine rebounds Ish Sanders had 20 points for Sunbury if Nathan Sobey does not win MVP this season for Division 1 men uh, you know what if they they will be marching in the streets from Warrnambool to Melbourne, let me tell you, to your office, Steve. To my office. They'll be okay. marching in unison. He's been the best player in this competition, Jeffrey. Yeah, he's been um, really good. He's, I don't think there's really anybody in the comp who can completely stop it's him. He's got to be the best. Um, Calvin Henry was pretty good on the weekend. Calvin Henry's played half the season. True. Right, you're only saying that because they beat you. Now, <laughs> would you agree? If you were voting today, well, you're a captain. You do have to vote. I don't have to no, you say have, my vote. No, you have to vote. vote. <laughs> well, can I just can I just ask you this? In your MVP voting, will Nathan Sobey figure in the three, two, and one? I would say so. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Melton seventy nine went down to Blackburn eighty one. Melton's been in ripping form. Mm -hmm. uh, Blackburn finished twenty one and one. Uh, Jakey Spruan had sixteen points. Ivan Harris had eighteen for Melton. Great game. Uh, I'm so glad that Blackburn. Um, uh, are finished with a win mm -hmm. and heading into finals in the shape that they're in. I just, I take my hat off to these guys. I, I've been with them from the start, you know that. Yep. Um, all Aussie, Paul Langford and the crew have done an amazing job with this group and nothing against the other seven finalists. Uh, and, and I've got a lot of time for Warnable. I think they're going to be right there as well. But I sure as hell hope from here. Uh, that we're talking about Blackburn winning the big one this season because they have been nothing short of sensational. You're not wrong. I, I, put it, put I, it simply, hey, you're not wrong because... I, I, I hardly ever am, steve I <laughs> quite usually pull out there. but um, not often. Certainly take nothing away from the other seven teams. Warrnambool, Casey Melton, Latrobe Shep, Sunbury and Mildura because they all deserve to be there, but Blackburn do deserve to be at the top of the pile Melton's right now. the dark horse for me, right. by the way. Um, and uh, to be honest, I think Blackburn for Blackburn, this is the game that they needed to have in preparation for that, that final series because they've been winning games quite comfortably. They've been just hit rotating hit through. Hit they were down in the fourth quarter in this game from memory and Blackburn etched out a win. It's something they need. One of the best performances I've seen Division 1 men for a long, long time, Jeff. Yeah, a really well-rounded team and they're going to be um, tough in any final situation. Since you last week, how many have been on the blue carpet this season, Steve? They're a team. Yeah, not many. They're a team. None, I don't think. Uh, Latrobe City, uh, 78 defeated Keezy, 69. Uh, Adam Slawinski had 23 for Keezy. Coleman had 23 for Latrobe City. Lenny Lemons, one of our favourites, Lenny. Uh, Lenny had 21 points, 21 rebounds, automatic. automatic blue carpet. Lenny Lemons, you're a bloody star. Latrobe City headed to the finals. Yeah, Latrobe City, um, they, I think they were a lot better than what a lot of teams thought they would be. Are they at home this week, um, Latrobe City? Coming to the city? 
coming uh, to five versus six. eight. And their women. Oh, I think Campbell's going down to play their women, aren't they? Yeah, correct. So I'm going to get to see Lenny this week. Yeah, say hey, hi. Hey, Lenny. Hey, I look yeah, forward do. to catching up. Mate. It. It'd, be, yeah, it'd be good to catch up with Lenny down there. Uh, did you give Latrobe City a chance in the finals, Jeff? Um... I'm sorry, but no. All right, okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, Shepard and 93 to Freddie Keelor, 82. Reggie Fuller, 28.6 rebounds, four steals. Liam Glasgow had 28. I think he hit eight of 10 triples in this game. Reggie. Liam Glasgow. Oh, no, Liam Glasgow. I, <laughs> I don't think Reggie oh, would have been hitting too many threes. I was threes. thinking that. Um, Shep get it, and they needed it um, uh, to uh, just get some form going into finals because they haven't been that crash hot lately. Uh, well, they needed to win their two games to make Which finals. They did. And so they came up against some handy opposition, but they got the job done, and therefore they deserve to be there. Chelsea 76 defeated Melbourne University 72. Corey Stando for 24 points, 15 rebounds. Not enough to get them into the finals, though. Melbourne Uni, uh, Delonte Joyce had 23 and 7. Anything to see there? No. No, it didn't count for much. Mildura 95 to Freddie Campbell, 84. Brent Simons 32 for Mildura. Uh, if there was anyone that was going to stitch up Mildura, it was good old Brent Simons. He would have just been running three point line to three point line. Yeah, uh, Big Oz had the job on him. and uh, Trailing? Brent Oz... Simons would have been trailing. Uh, yeah, he loves a triple, and he was great with the celebration too. Um, he oh, got the crowd right into there. the game. Um, but uh, no, he was, as silly as it sounds, it was a quiet 32. Oz came off after the game and said, I had no idea he had 32. I thought he had 15. Brent Simons so. is a clutch shooter from outside, Steve. Mm. Okay. And the way he runs the floor, his team will push the ball up the floor as quick as they can with the 24-second shot clock. By the time Brent gets to the three-point arc, there's about two seconds to go, <laughs> and he'll put it away, let me tell you. Yeah, a great game. Um, for Campbell, Bajanic had 26 and 12. Uh, it was Swainy. It, where, where was T-Bags? Where was he? Uh, I think he had some work. He couldn't make the trip. Couldn't make the trip. Uh, the trip. How was the trip? How was Dom's? Good? Yeah, it was good. Good way to end the season. I mean, we, we were actually up in that game at half time, so we were actually a, more competitive. Um, but with seven players around our legs. Um, but we found a bit of energy on the dance floor um, well, at Dom's. Yeah, how was it? Because I don't know if people uh, picked it up last week when we spoke on the show, but the last time I saw you at Dom's in Mildura, you were in ripping form. Well, And it wasn't on the dance floor, let me I've, tell you. It's a nice, quite I, dark corner. I think I'm six years older. And, uh, <laughs> Is that how long ago it was? <laughs> Seriously? I think, so. I think I was 19 last and time. And I still so. remember it every time we catch up. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's sad, isn't thanks. it? Poor girl. Um, at Geelong, 77, <laughs> went down to Casey, 85. Uh, Chapman had 26 for Casey. <laughs> Terence Motley had 28 and 18 for Geelong. Casey... That bombed Geelong out. Yeah, Geelong missed out. That's yeah, it. absolutely. Um, they lost a few more games at home than I thought they would this season, Geelong. Uh, Casey, uh, they finished third. They finished third on the table. Gee, I'll tell you what, they haven't done a lot wrong this season, the Caps. Yeah, I don't know why we haven't noticed them more. I didn't really, I thought they had more than five losses. Yeah. Um, they've just kind of plugged away. Under I don't the think their radar. wins have been that convincing. Mm. Uh, maybe that's why they haven't got our attention. Under the radar, Jeff. But I tell you what, Chapman stepped up big. I think that 26 points would be well above his um, season average. Agree averages. with that. Last one, Warrandyte 72 went down to Shep 85. Couple of good wins for the Gators on the weekend. Bailey Michelle had 23. David Moore, 20.7 rebounds. Uh, Warrandyte finished second last on the ladder. Speaking of the ladder, here we go. Uh, Blackburn, 21 and 1. Warrnambool, 18 and 4. Casey 17 and 5, Melton 15 and 7, Latrobe City 14 and 8, Shepparton 12 and 10, Sunbury and Mildura 11 and 11, round out the 8, then Geelong and Chelsea 10 and 12, Keysborough and Keelor 7 and 15, Melbourne Union Warrandyte 5 and 17, Camberwell 2 and 20. So a couple of things you know, Camberwell go down to Division 2, the top four of those eight, Blackburn, Warrnambool, Casey, Melton, all get a double chance, mm -hmm. we know how that works, yep. AFL top final, uh, top eight system. The Trobe City, Shepherd and Sunbury, Mildura are featuring in elimination finals this week. Cutthroat. What I will say is very similar to what we see in the AFL. Uh, no disrespect to Latrobe City, Shepherd and Sunbury or Mildura, and certainly not the energy, because I'm going to see them this week, and I want to catch up with Lenny Lemons right. and not have him uh, smash so, me into the middle of next week. So say nice things for now. Those bottom four, so fifth through to eighth, have got no chance of winning the title this year, Steve-O. Zero. Won't happen. You talk about Blackburn Won't and Warrnambool won't matter if it's Blackburn. Won't happen. Uh, games coming up this week. Blackburn take on Melton. First versus fourth. Rematch from 
this past weekend. Melton had the home court there, got done by two. Blackburn at home should be too strong. Jeffo, interesting point from the just last week. Um, Blackburn may have won by two. Melton was seven of eighteen from the free throw line, um, so they had every opportunity to win that. Um, and Cam McCallum was fouled off with um, seven points and six rebounds. So it looks like things went Blackburn's way a little bit in terms of foul counts, etc. Because Melton had three players fouled off. Wow. But Blackburn are on a what is it? Twenty-one game win streak. Yeah, bloody lot. And that twenty-one game win streak will get them another win this week. I think everyone knows where I'm going with this one. Uh, the All Aussie Brigade, you're a bunch of champions. Warnable take on Casey, second versus third. I think when you, you pack the arc, it's it's a bloody tough place It'll be to pack win. this week, Steve. Oh, and oh, for sure. You, pots you and will pants. not be getting a seat. Have you ever been down there with the pots and pans? No, I have you been there with the pots and pans? Jeez, they make some noise down there. No, I haven't heard them. Have you? They're still very loud. Oh, they come in with those pots and pans. They're, they're good with abuse, too. I don't mind a bit of, bit of uh, finger pointing down there. I think Warrnambool at home, but it'll be a, a close what do you, game. What do you mean you think? Well, I don't know because it hasn't been played. Oh, so no. I think. No. no. They've Warrnambool. played once this season. Warrnambool win, though. They've played once this season. Casey got it by two. Where was it at? However. Where was it at? I don't know. Did you, did you the, only, the only thing I looked up was the fact that um, there was no Sobe. Fair enough. Um, Makes a big difference. So Warrnambool. I will tip Warrnambool, Warrnambool at home Warrnambool. with Sobe playing. Yep. Warnable at home. Uh, the Trobe City Mildura knockout. Saturday night, I think this game is. Who was this one, La Trobe? La Trobe Fifth Mildura, versus yeah. eight. Is this the longest road trip in the Big V? Possibly. Yes, it is. No, not possibly. It is. Definitely. What's, what's longer? Tasmania. No. Um, La Trobe City to win. Uh, I, I think the combination of Coleman and Lemons is a very good one. Kelvin Henry. Enough to get them. Kelvin Henry and Jones. Kelvin Henry and Jones. Very, very good. Um, Look, I'm going with Lenny Lemons and the crew, I think, at home. I think they might just get across the line in a close game. Um, Mildura beat him by 24 last time with no Kelvin Henry, but Jones was playing with Thomas. Um, And they will win again, Mildura. Mildura to win. Kelvin Henry is a beast. Okay. Lenny Lemons will... We'll have his work cut out for him with Calvin. Uh, Shepherd and Sunbury, sixth versus seventh knockout. I haven't been all that excited by Shepherd and lately. They're, I don't think their form is is warranted for where they sit, and they obviously earn themselves a home final. I think Sunbury can go up and, and cause some havoc. One thing I know about finals, uh, Jeffo. Um, I've seen a few over the years. Hey, have you gone finals over the years? Seen a few? Um, not in the last two years. Right, before okay. then, I was alright. <laughs> One thing I know about finals in the Big V is if you're on the road to a country team, which I happen to be this week, unfortunately, but if you're on the road to a country team, the whole bloody town comes out. It is very, very hard to win on the road regionally come finals time in the Big V. And for that reason and that reason alone... Mm-hmm. Because uh, I think both of these teams have some good parts to their game, and I think they have some inconsistent parts to their game. But for the reason that it's in Shepherd in this week, Steve-O, yep. I'm going with the Gators to win. And I am with you. All right, there we go. Uh, D1 men, uh, four finals on the go this week. We are going to only have six teams with us come this time next week. Uh, It's a great final series. Don't forget, if you want to know how it works, the final eight, it's exactly like the AFL final eight. We'll be back to talk about it next week on Big V TV.